Okie dokie, well, good morning everybody. Well I was Well I was on the browser and um I for some reason for some reason can't remember what but <clears throat> I stumbled across this article here called Twenty Ridiculous Rules Twitch Streamers Have to Follow. I know one of those rules was don't eat on stream, which I I pretty I pretty much violate that big time, so it kinda piqued my interest, so I thought I'd go ahead and um Go ahead and do a run through of all the other ones. I don't know. I don't know what the rest of them were But I just when I did my Google search I just noticed one of them was don't eat which i grossly violate so I thought this would kind of have a fun fun slash educational uh, ed Educational video, excuse me so Yeah, so like I always do I'm just gonna go down the whole website or the whole article excuse me and just comment on some of these um some of this is a lot of blah 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 gaming and art evil life oh. we need, not just anyone can be a streamer you need to follow all these rules unless you want to make it uh and i'm pretty sure some of these top streamers probably violate some of these rules too so i mean no one is innocent Click the button below to start this article in quick view. Nah. You need to dress appropriately. Um. Yeah, I guess. I guess, uh. Don't let your junk hang out or anything, something like that. That's the only thing I can think of. Don't be, don't dress too offensively. Pretty important that you dress the part. Yeah, of course. That doesn't mean you need to put on a full dress suit or tux. Those mean you should dress and be respectful. Yeah, I have so. No problems there from my end. This is pretty much what I always wear anyway. A t-shirt and sweatpants or shorts. Avoid this from happening. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, but if you're if you're a boob streamer, naturally you're gonna have your, your fake boobs buffed up, so. I think something like that. I think they should at least warn you, for lack of a better word, warn you that hey, I'm a boob streamer, or hey, showing cleavage, you know, or something like that, you know, to let people know what they're getting into. Yeah, again, if I'm if I'm here, let me highlight this whole thing here. But yeah, I totally agree with this. I mean, I'm there to watch you play a game. I'm, I'm there for two reasons: one, to watch you, and two, and to watch one, to watch you, two, to watch you play a game. I mean, I'm not there just exclusively to check you out. So you're gonna need to have some. You're gonna need, your streams you're gonna need some substance. Get more viewers. Some individuals have tried to exploit Twitch by clickbaiting and other nasty tricks. Yeah. No fish for views. Yep. No self promo. Um. If you're streaming, you're pretty much already doing that by default. Oh, okay. I see what they're talking about. Yeah. If you're on another, if you're on another streamer, don't advertise. Yep. Very disrespectful. Yep. I agree with that. See, my prob my problem is is uh, the few games I play, most people don't. And the few that actually do play the same game, they're on different servers. And we can't really interact with each other. Actually, it's unique and focuses on building a real life. Support you. Yeah. Again, very much a dick move. Tired out. Yep. 
Yep. Don't be a parasite. You can't use all caps, okay? I, I would think this would go without... I would think this would go without saying right here. So. And I, I've made this mistake before. When I first started streaming, um, I had a, I had the view count up, which is, I recommend to any other streamer. Don't put your view count up. But anyway, getting back on topic, what would happen is uh, when I when I, when that zero would go to a one, immediately I'd start greeting him. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Blah 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 blah. And uh, that one would immediately turn into a zero again. <clears throat> so, yeah, you're gonna get lurkers in your channel. Give them some space. And he, again, that's just what I said right there. Yep. I do this too. So, there's going to be times where uh, I'll just hop onto somebody's channel and just not say a word to anybody. Yep, yep. Like I said, I do this too. Use the language of the streamer. Huh? <clears throat> I mean, unless he's talking about lingo and stuff. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Um, in my channel, I don't normally swear. If I do, it's probably because I'm ticked off. Or, like Malcolm X said, a man swears because he lacks the words to say what's on his mind. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm no exception there. Sometimes I'm too ticked off to form a complete sentence where all my only options are swear words. That being the case, yes, yeah, so I'm going to throw a few, you're going to throw a few F's, A's, and S's, S words out there and stuff. Because I can't think of anything else at the time. If you can. This one too. This is a big turnoff from my end as well. If someone's cursing and swearing a mile a minute, I've already lost interest. And they said the same thing I did. This right here, I love this idea. Have a have a swear jar on your stream. Whenever you curse, ding 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 ding. Throw some coin, throw some coins in the bit. Throw some coins in the mason jar. I'm a fan of this as well. Bots are kind of a turn off for me. Yeah, it's the same guy as before. Is this uh Yeah, I'm scrolling back up here, Killy Majuski. Okay, so these guys are all different. Alright. But yeah, I think uh using a bot, I mean if you're gonna use one, don't use one that constantly puts messages out there you know, over and over and over again. So I don't use one in my I don't use one on my stream, even though if I wanted to bad enough, I probably could. I'm just not into them. Yep. Some words to live by right there. Man, that... That's some bright light. Using a bot right there. Yep, yep. Bingo, right here. It's too impersonal. Um, as far as gossiping, no, fun. I don't. I think gossiping, 
and name dropping are two different things. You know, if you just if you just bring up somebody else's stream, or you just bring up another streamer, I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're gonna, uh, I I would probably equate gossip with talking bad, talking bad about them. I mean, that's what I'd equate gossip with. But I mean, if you're gonna, I mean, as far as uh. Yeah, now that I think about it, there's another word I'm looking for. Um, if it's just an innocent name drop, I guess it'd be okay, but uh, if it's if it's uh, promoting, that's the word I was looking for. Promoting another person's channel, I'm kind of, I kind of lean towards no on that. Especially considering that everybody and their dog does it. So it just, you'll just, your words just get lost in the shuffle. So... Yeah, so I find that kind of a turnoff. And they said the same thing here, too. It does happen way too often. It's always on the internet, so instead of gospel. Yep. <clears throat> but, um... I think the flip side on this is also true. Don't go out of your way to bring somebody down, but I don't think you should ever go out of your way to promote somebody either. I mean, I'm I'm there to watch I'm there to watch you stream. I'm not there to listen for whatever channel it is you're promoting or anything like that. I mean, I'm there to I'm there to watch you. I'm there to watch you as a streamer, not as an advertising agency. So, yeah, don't do that. Can't argue in chat. Um, I'm I'm assuming by that what they mean is uh just, you know, like it literally in chat you're arguing back and forth in the chat box itself. Or they could also be meaning, don't argue with your viewers. Which I think I mean a little bit of back and forth debate is always good, but I mean that but yeah when you're. Don't go out of your way argue. Yep. Once in a while, but don't feed their ego by giving attention. Yep. Definitely agree there. Adam. That's the quick and easy method right there. Some more words to live by right here. Don't have anything nice to say. Don't say anything at all. Be yourself. Yep. And I would think something like this would go without saying, but I bet that ain't always the case. Yep. Streaming on Twitch would be the importance of heaven. Streaming on Twitch would have to be the importance of being yourself no matter what. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, sometimes when I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm like, uh, I'm actually wa paying attention to a quest and watching the cutscenes and that, if I find a character that's relatable, I'll often explain why. Like, you know, say a little bit about myself, why I'm why can I identify with whatever character it is that I'm looking at? So, yeah. What's the other view? Nope. What works for one ain't gonna work for the other. Yep. Try actually playing the game. Yep. This is another. This is another turnoff from my end. Back when, I, back when I was consistently watching other streamers, I hated it when streamers did this. They wouldn't actually play the game. They would just sit there and let it run, and they just sit there and blah 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 just 
sit there for the sole purpose of talking to the viewers. You know, or, you know, but real, not realizing that the reason I'm there is to watch you play the game. I mean, I'm there to watch you, but I'm also there to watch you play the game as well. But if all you're going to do is just sit there and do nothing, then you had no point in me being there. You don't even try playing. It's fine to read the chat. You should be doing so. But it's not okay to forego. Yep. Yep. Sort of progress on task. You're live streaming. And um, to be fair, all right, I just, I just saw it. I'm a victim of this. If I'm in the middle of playing a game, somebody was trying to say something to me, I've often gotten distracted and checked out what uh, what they were saying and ended up ended up screwing up, especially trying a game like pinball. There's been many times where I'm, I'm sitting here in the middle of playing, someone tries to talk to me, I look over. Oh yeah, and all of a sudden the ball drains. Pleak. Whoops. Come in your stream to see you play a game or whatever task you may be working on. Yup. Exactly. That's why I'm that's why I'm there to watch you stream. I'm watching you I'm wa I'm there to watch you play a game. Not just to watch you. Uh kind of ties in with this previous one here. You know, don't you should be you should be streaming. You should be streaming yourself playing a game. Not just sitting there sitting there chatting with people only. I mean, if you're going to do that, go on the Just Chatting channel, not on a game channel. Um, This is probably going to be a weakness of mine right here. Don't have a ton of windows open on your computer. Now, to be fair, I don't have all my windows on the screen at once, but um, I will often... I will often switch from the game window to my notepad because there was something important I need to get typed down. Um, I'll, I'll, if um, if one of my viewers posts a link or wants to show me something, wants to like show me this really cool song that they heard, yeah, I'll switch over to YouTube and I'll play it. It's just, it's just, it's just something like, it's just something I like to do. I mean, I myself, I, um, I don't really get out much. I mean, aside from streaming, my whole lifestyle is just eat, sleep, work. So it's always good when uh, people come in and post uh, current event stuff, or they bring in like a like a, a new song that you heard that was totally awesome. That I'll I'll go ahead and listen to it too. You know, so it's it's good that people do this because it helps me. You know, gives me a bigger window into the outside world. Because without it, my whole life is just gonna re re again. It's gonna revolve around eat, sleep, work. That's it. So, so yeah, because of that, I will have a, I will have a ton of windows open. I won't just be focusing 100% on the game. I'll be checking out images and music and, again, you know, whatever people want to bring by, I'll check out. Um, this I do. And, in fact... I forgot I had that. Throat's get throat's starting to get parched. Anything else you might need? Yep. See my and this is gonna be a tie-in later on. The one reason why I'm why I went on this article. Again, I'm not I'm not trying to do many things at once. But again, if, if someone wants me to check out something, I'll check it out. Donation goals are no, no. Yes, 100% agreed with this. The reason I stream is because uh, I have it's it's my most comfortable uh, contact with the outside world. That's probably one of my biggest reasons why I stream. So it's it's not there for a donation goal. Although yes, I would I would love for this to be my full time job. I would love to make a living off of this. But it, that chances are slim. You're only gonna have two chances on that. Slim and none. I mean, streaming is so saturated these days. It's it, you're gonna be extremely lucky 
to be able to make a living off of it. So. This right here. Don't. You're basically, basically what you're doing here is panhandling. You're basically being a homeless person begging for money. Yep. So yeah, this is a huge turnoff with me as well. You're basically treating people like customers. Um, I think there was another video I did of this. I don't remember if it was the whole video or the whole topic of the video or if it was just a small part, but yeah, that, that is another turnoff with me when streamers treat their, uh, treat their uh, viewers like customers, you know, potentially making money from them. I'm not into that at all. Yep. I did, and which, that's what I said a few moments ago. Bingo! This is me, 100% right here. I got a job outside of streaming, and I stream on the side. This is my lifestyle right here. And yes, I do up. And I also post on the uh, Final Fantasy XIV blogs as well. And I'll often mention that as well. Look, man, hey. Oh, I gotta take a nap. I gotta get ready for work, so thanks for watching. I'll often do that. Make it so you don't have to rely so... Yep. Although, again, I would love to be able to do this. Just make streaming my full-time job that pays all my bills. But again, that is extremely rare. It's, so, it's gotta be something that you do on the side. Yep. It, this is kind of a tie-in with some of the previous entries. Don't beg. Don't treat people like potential dollar signs. Um, don't block links. I don't know what this means. and I'm not sure what that means. Like prevent them or uh, actually posting them. Just to find out. Again, I don't mind people putting up links. I, you know, this, again, again, without streaming, my life is just a simple eat, stream, work. That's it. So, it's always cool when people post up links, but again, as long as they're not spamming them, and as long as they're, as long as they're not super offensive, as long as those two, um, as long as those, those two requirements are fulfilled, I got no problems with people posting them. So this is probably something I'm going to be a big time violation of. I've never had this in the two years that I've been streaming. I've never had people spamming links. And normally if it's a, and if it's a suspicious person that came on, somebody I've never met before, somebody I've never met before that's, um, it's trying to send out viruses. I've never had that, but if, if it's somebody I never met that came on that did this, posted a link immediately, like straight away, yeah, I'm bad on them. Yeah, but sometimes my my streams are enjoyable when people do this. I mean, if if it if it's an honest link, if it's you know, again, going back to what I said a few min minutes ago, you know, if they if they have a cool image. Or if they heard a cool song that they want me to hear as well, I'm all for it. So I don't want to stifle that. I don't want to stifle that person's creativity. I don't want to stifle that person's self-expression. So yeah, I'm always down with that. Um, Discord. I'm guessing there's gonna be more on that later, but my my response to Discord, eh, no. Too many bad experiences with that. Nope. And they're going to push it further. Nope. Nope. Um, might be in theory a good idea, but I'm one of those. Uh, if I if I check out somebody else's stream and they're using Discord or pretty much any kind of outside uh, chat software, pew, I'm gone. Because uh, to me, too many people, too many streamers can't use it properly. They're too distracted by Discord. I'll type something down in chat trying to talk to them, and I'll get ignored completely. 
They're too busy talking to their buddies on Discord. They're too distracted. So, so no. The moment I hear, if I hear, if I hear the streamer talking to somebody outside of chat, I'm gone. So I, I if if for some reason, like when streaming Final Fantasy 14, I've gotten into raid content recently. If for some reason I have to use Discord, I'll try to avoid streaming when I can. I don't want to put somebody else through what I've gone through. So I mean, I mean, yeah. If, if you can, if you use Discord, and you can, and you can multitask, you can talk to everybody at once. Then more power to you. But chances are, if I see that, I'm not going to be around. Logic. With the chat, you can. Now you'll no longer need to compromise with the chat. You can, As long as you're being totally respectful, but I mean, I'm like that without Discord. Again, I said that a few minutes ago. I mean, I'm always down with people posting links of cool stuff they found. As long as it's respectful, and as long as it's not offensive. Not to me. This is a tie-in to Discord right here. This is another tie-in right here. If you're chatting with people, if you're chatting with people outside the stream, I'm gone. That means you're not you're not focused enough on your your own community to to be worth my while. I mean, I don't man, I don't demand 100% devotion. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm there to watch you. So, but I do you know, I do expect you to at least you know pay us the pay the audience some attention as well. Though, I'm having trouble finding the words right now. But yeah, this really, this really touched, this really set me off right here. This is one of my hugest pet peeves when watching other streamers. Gotta pay attention to your audience. Yup. Don't treat us like a distraction. And I've seen this happen as well. This is especially true when uh, when the streamer doesn't have a webcam. This is probably one of my all-time big requirements of a streamer. If you don't have a webcam, I'm gone immediately. Or hell, a lot of times they have thumbnail streamers have thumbnails on their Twitch. If I don't see a webcam in that thumbnail, I'm not even giving you the time of day. I'm gone. I'm not even gonna bother. But uh, if you do, but for the times that I actually did check out streamers who didn't have webcams, it can get confusing. I mean, you got. You got two plus people chatting away. I don't know which one to use a streamer. So, I mean, all I hear is just a clusterfuck of voices. So, I hear that, I'm gone. I'll play the game. This, um... Is only slightly better. I mean, if you, if a bunch of you guys are like doing a really doing a high end raid or something where you all need to communicate together, I understand that. You know, but, but again, don't don't expect me to be there. You know, don't expect me to. Ooh, 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 ooh they're they're running a raid. They're all. You know, you, you get the idea. Yes. It's nice to see these guys agree with me. They're, I want to say they're almost hypocritical, but again, that that could probably be a matter for another time. I, I don't have the right words for that. Like, um, here it is, here it is. I think if I was to ever stream with Discord, I would probably put something down in the chat. Look, I'm I'm playing with other players. Please don't get offended if please don't get offended if I don't answer you immediately. It's hard for me to be in three different places. It's hard for me to be in two plus places at once. You know, there's some something along that lines as a show of courtesy to the people that come to my stream. So I think uh, maybe if more people did this, 
I might actually visit them then. But a lot of times, they, but in every single instance, they don't. It's just, it's just you come on their stream and they're already, you know, and then, you know, and then me, the viewer, kind of feels left out. So, but on the other hand, if they have something like this on here, you know, like a, like a, type something, you know, some kind, some show of courtesy, like, hey man, I'm rating with other guys, so don't, you know, don't be surprised if I don't answer you right away, you know, something like that. Then yeah, I'd, you know, really smooth things over with. But I'm, I am think I'm ranting and raving too much in this, so I'll continue. <laughs> this is the one I was looking for. I am in gross violation of this one. I eat, I mean, I eat food and I drink stuff on stream. But I do have justification for this. This is especially true on a, on a work night, which is probably one of my, uh, probably one of my unique, it's probably my niche, for lack of a better word. Um, I often stream on a work night. I often stream just before I have to get ready for work, or these days, I often stream just before I have to lay, I have to post my blog, then I have to take a nap, just before I have to get ready for work. But, um, short, hands, short version, I often have to stream on a work night. Because of that, I don't really have time, I mean, I don't really have time to, I can't, or, how do I put this? I can't really set aside dinner time. I often have to eat in the middle of streaming because I'm not really going to have time to do it outside of it. So I have to eat my meals on stream. Um, but also on this here, uh, for what it's worth to anybody, I don't eat huge, massive, full course meals or anything like that. Um, the most I, you typically what I'll do is like at the start of a Final Fantasy 14 stream, I'll just bring out a little cup of grapes, just, you know, that's it, I'll bring out a couple of energy drinks, or as I refer them, as I refer to them, my morning, my morning coffee, um, I'll just have a couple of energy drinks, that's it, you know, I don't bring out the London Royal pot roast, and I don't have a big old fork and knife, and you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not eating a T-bone steak, or you know, if it mass, I'm just, makes me go, no, um, and big old ball, you know, big old thing of mashed potatoes. You know, eating all sloppily or anything like that. I don't do that. I eat, I pretty much ate very light. So, so that, again, if you take of that what you will. But yeah, that, this is, this is what got me on this article. I just don't eat, which is guilty as charged. And the biggest unspoken rule? Or reply to cow. Or if you are gonna <laughs> if you are gonna eat, at least have some manners. Like yeah, don't don't sit there. You know, don't don't eat like a slob or anything. Usually I'll or you know I'll you know I'll I'll try to I'll I'll try to be courteous about it. So Okay, um this is something else I don't do either. Like um again, I'm trying to eat and stream at the same time. And like I said a few minutes ago, it's because I don't have time. I don't have time to set aside for dinner. I don't have I can't set aside time for just straight eating. I basically, I have to eat and stream at the same time because I almost always play on a work night. So, but yeah, I don't, I don't make, I'm not going to make this an eating stream. Usually I'll play, do something, and if I have a little bit of downtime, I'll, you know, I'll do that between, between cutscenes or between screen transitions or whatnot. And my other exception, as I said a few moments ago, I don't have, I don't have time to, I can't set aside time for it. If you happen to be running late and don't have time to eat, no, there's, uh, again, I can't, I can't really do this. I can't do this, not especially on a work night. And I, I don't, man, I'm not so sure about this, you know, personally. 
you know, personally, I actually kind of like it. I actually kind of like watching people eat and drink. I don't know why. I actually like, I actually love it when people make themselves at home. But yeah, I can see how it could gross other people up, but I just thought of this. I actually love it. Like, you know, when, if you've ever, um, if you ever heard the Pink Floyd song, Adam's Psychedelic Breakfast, it's one of my all-time favorite songs from them. But there is a part, like part two, where you'll hear them in the background. He makes these uh, funny noises in the background. I really like that. But again, I just I don't I don't exclusively peg out during the streams or anything like that. Just, but yeah. Um. Try not to. But again, um. I'm usually pretty quick to ban. I can only recall me banning somebody. Maybe one time that I can think of. But uh, otherwise, I don't. I don't get many haters on my stream. So, yeah, yeah, like, so, I guess, uh, for the few times that I actually did, it's, it's often a, it's often a conscious effort. Because I'm also, uh, I'm also thinking about anybody else that's on that, anybody else that's on my stream. So, yeah, I'm, I'd be pretty quick to ban. Whereas, um, part of my, um, part of my issue, why I'm probably susceptible to this, is because I don't get them very often. So it often really catches me off guard. I now, on the other hand, if I was a, if I was a PewDiePie streamer with, like, hundreds of thousands of followers and viewers and whatnot, I mean, yeah, I'm sure he's probably gonna have a good chunk of are gonna be haters. He's probably gonna get all, he probably gets this kind of thing all the time. He's probably used to it, whereas I wouldn't be. As a small time streamer, this is actually an upside because I the amount of haters I get is next to nothing. But I'm also a super small time streamer too, so I don't get many viewers to begin with. Be the bigger person, don't let people control your no. Just call them tips. It's kind of a weird nitpick here. Um, I do accept tips and donations. I don't, I don't know the terminology that people like to use. So when I use it, I call them tips slash donations as another way of saying whatever the hell you guys want to call them. I've always thought they're one and the same. So many people have issues with streamers calling them the tips they get donations. Again, I don't, I don't differentiate the two. Yeah, this is something small to me too. From gamers and streamers trying to play. Like I said, I don't get it. Usually when I... On my uh, Twitch bio, I refer to them as tips slash donations. I don't know the correct terminology for it, so I just do that. It's whatever you guys want to call them. Keep the chat off stream. I don't understand that one. Unless he means the... Uh, I don't understand that one at all. Um, guilty is charged on this one, uh, but I do it for a different reason. There's um, there's gonna be times when um, uh, 
I'll be in a conversation with somebody and a brand spanking new viewer comes on who is kind of in the middle of the conversation. So having that chat box up there, it kind of helped. It kind of it would kind of help the other viewer bring himself up to speed with what we're talking about. So that's why I have that up there. Because uh, I know uh, back when I was checking out other streamers, I want to get an up. I want to get an update on the Twitch chat box. I'll, I wouldn't get anything at all. It, it would be a. I would just get the. Uh, I would get the conversation in progress, already in progress, I should say. So, I'm not. I wasn't privy to a lot of the things they were saying before. So having a, having that chat box up there in that screen really helps. You know, it really helps me to know what they're talking about. So, that was why I put my chat box up there. But uh, to be fair on this one here, my um, my chat box is uh, transparent. It's see-through. So it's not a big black thingy that really does cover up part of the screen. It, you can you can see through. Okay, this I this however I do not do. All I have is my webcam, my chat box, and um, if I'm streaming Final Fantasy XIV, my main game, I got the, I got the um, the tip mug, or excuse me, the tip, the tip slash donation mug. I just say tip cup because it's just faster to say. And I just said this a few minutes ago. Yep, 100% totally agree with this. Totally agree with this. Again, there's been a... Back when I had the view count up, I became two different people. I became... When uh, when the view count was zero, I was Joe Schmo, the quiet gamer. I didn't talk, didn't say a word. Just... That was it. It wasn't until I saw a viewer come up, all of a sudden I was... Uh, Joe Schmall, the streamer. Hey, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing today? Well, I'm just just working on this little bit here. And then, welcome aboard. You got any questions, man? Feel free to let me know. You know, then I just, I became, you know, I will just come to life and just be all entertaining and stuff. But when that viewer left, didn't say anything. So, totally agree with that. When you got that view count turned off, you're forced, you're, you're, you're forced to be the entertainer. You're, you're forced, you're forced to, you're forced to act like people are already there. There, that's what I was looking for. This too. I've had this happen to me as well. You know, I get one or two people on my stream. Yes, people are watching me. All of a sudden, the, the count turns to zero. Oh no, what did I do wrong? Over time, that really adds up. Yup, and they're saying the same thing here, too. Yup, and I do this, too. Usually after the stream's over, I'll see how, how good slash bad I did. Look at stat in the middle of the stream. You can throw. Yup, yup, yup. They said the same thing. I was two different people when I had a view count up. Don't be quiet. Um, agree with this, but um, there's a middle ground here. On one end, yes, I don't, I don't like it when streamers don't say a word to anybody and they're total dead silent. That's a turn off. But guys who just Cuss and diarrhea at the mouth. Like they just don't shut up. You know, I just, they feel like they have to fill every empty space in their lives with chatter. And that's also a turnoff. So, but yeah, it, but yeah, like, like I, like I said, they're middle ground. Don't talk for the sake of talking either. 
Yeah, they, they just said the same thing here, too. You can be yourself and express yourself. The individuals there supporting you, giving you a chance. Yep. And side note here, again, this is one of the reasons why I have no problems at all with uh, people posting links on my chat. You know, because I... It, you know, because I don't... I don't want to be cold. I don't want to... I don't want to be cold or anything. And then again, this is all. This also helps me as well. As I, as I said earlier on, or as I said earlier, without streaming, my life is pretty much eat, sleep, work. So, I'm always down with people posting their, posting their links, their images, or songs, or their creations. That was something else I forgot to mention. Um, one of my viewers is an artist, likes to draw stuff, and he also likes to get tattoos as well, and he likes to show them off. Post it, buddy. I'd like to see it, too. So. But it, it also makes them feel more welcome as well. And, um, of all the other streamers I've seen, I don't, I don't really see a whole lot of streamers doing this. If they do, they say, um, you can post links, but only with permission. Which just adds another layer of bureaucracy to it. So. Yep. Um, one thing I kind of excel at this, if um, if somebody tells me the music's too loud, or if somebody tells me my webcam's in the wrong spot or whatnot, because uh, on my off nights I do often play uh two different, I'll pl I'll often play two or more different games, or excuse me, I'll stream multiple games. I'll stream Final Fantasy fourteen in the evening. I'll stream another game in the morning. I'll often do that, so there's times where I'll forget to move my, uh, move my, uh, move my overlays around. Someone lets me know about it; it's always appreciated, and I'll, I'll usually let them know too, because, because again, I want, I want it to be a good experience for them. But there's been times where, uh, there's been times where I'll forget to do that, and um, I'll get like hardly anybody checking out my stream at all. And, um, because nobody told me my uh, webcam was blocking something out that they really wanted to see or, you know, you know, viewers probably really wanted to be, out, be able to hear my voice or want to hear the in-game music, but, uh, because I had my mixer set totally wrong, they just up and left. You know, it would really be nice when people do this, you know, because I don't do this to piss people off. I do this because I probably forgot to... I forgot to change something from my previous game, so. And it's kind of a tie into what I said earlier. Um, this here would make me feel pretty awkward. Like, if you actually came out and said, Hey, if you guys want to talk to me about my personal life, feel free to do so. I, a little awkward. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to... And no, no, no. This is important, though. Be open with them to the extent you're comfortable with. But, okay. It looks like that's it for the article. And it looks like I went a little over along with it as well. I mean... I was expecting this just to be a quick run through, but it didn't happen that way. But, but anyway, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, if you made it this far, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and take care, and see y'all next time. Ooh.